hello everyone uh, welcome in the next session and uh, here we are going to install the uh, install specific then 7.15 and after uh, after that need to configure that environment here uh, now we can see three options connect this delivery controller to an existing site and this option is required when uh, we have a, a configured site and one dc is there we need to click on uh, this option and it will ask for the address of the delivery controller or configured site site name we need to provide that and after that this this will connect with the given site so this is a process to create a secondary delivery controller uh, to load balance the de uh, delivery controller so here we are going to configure the first delivery controller so now i will click on the deliver application and desktop to your user i am clicking here it will ask for the option providing Citrix site as a site name. Next, there are three options to create the database. It creates the three type of databases. First is site database, which stores the configuration of the uh, site, like, like applications detail, uh, server configuration, users access configuration, all stores in the site database in the monitoring database it stores the uh, citrix director it used for the citrix director and uh, all uh, related to the monitoring thing like server utilization server um, hard disk usage memory usage is stored in the monitoring monitoring database configuration logging database is to uh, is, is stores the administrative changes means whatever changes uh, done by the administrator using Citrix Studio Console, it stores in the configuration logging data. We click on the next, it will go to the licensing part. Uh, we have uh, installed the license uh, server in the same server, that's why it is showing localhost column 27000. 27000 is the um, default port for license server. But uh, if you want to change the port, we can change it to 27001227009. And in case we are configuring the license server in the uh, separate server as a license server, then we have to provide the IP address, colon port number, or the server name, colon port number. Here we are going to configure this for Azure. Our uh, active directory server and delivery controller is on on frame in the vmware environment but our vda would be on the azure portal so i am selecting the mcs tool and clicking next we have to provide the um, citrix dc site all ISO, ISO, I put this here. Control it. This is our subscription ID for Azure. I am putting the subscription ID over here and providing the name as my Citrix. Creating it. Testing for the credentials. the password after putting it id and password it will connect with the azure uh, portal
accept it. Just showing permission request for Citrix Brand Desktop. Current contact. Close it. It will gathering the information from Azure portal. And Azure portal is looks like here you can see or uh, I will show it in the here only. This is our Azure portal and uh, here you can get the asking for the request. I'm refreshing it and this is the our Azure portal and here the created virtual machines you can see in the virtual machine section and now it's showing connected click on next and after that you need to provide the details like reason network additional features all about so I will configure it in the east US okay if we want we can check in which lo location we have created it showing for the pin I will check the pin in my email id and Sorry, I did not get the pin detail. creating it in the e US East US 2 next my Citrix lab
saying no virtual network exist in the given region please ensure that selected region contains a virtual network so first of all i i need to create a virtual network portal dot azure dot com to the virtual machine where I created it it will show there is an US key so I will do one thing I am creating it in the US East next it's showing me a default because in US East I have created a Citrix RG VNet so I have selected this one only with the name of a source putting next it's asking for app DNA feature or app v publishing I am not selecting any use the following customize your site or also enable disable configuration feature so enable this feature uh, I will not enable this because I will use a different source the MPS and you can see the configurations over here site database, monitoring database, logging database, delivery controller, license detail, connection type Microsoft Azure, connection name management.azure.com, connection name is MyCitrix, your subscription ID create virtual machines with the studio tool machine creation services my resource name my citrix east us region virtual network citrix rg subnet detail default and clicking on finish so the configuration of the uh, site is almost done so wait till it's getting completed it will take some time in between uh, we can discuss is VMware that is our on-prem so VMware and another one is Azure we are creating our VDA on Azure portal using MCS and MCS is on uh, means our DDC is on VMware environment so First, we have created the AD. And another one is DDC. The delivery. And on Azure, it's a VDA one, VDA two, VDA three, VDA one. VDA 3 
SQL services is on the VMware portal is your SQL Microsoft SQL server and uh, also will create uh, storefront we can create a storefront either on VMware or Azure we'll decide it later and same thing for license server we'll create on uh, we already uh, install the uh, license server feature on the uh, delivery controller server only pending is storefront so we'll try to install it on the same server so this is the environment we are going to create a and now we can see that Citrix is created the site is created over here and after that setup machine for desktop and application or remote PC will uh, cover this in the uh, next video you can see it's, it's a machine catalog delivery group application app disk is a Citrix policies over here logging database detail this is the policies you can see templates of the policies comparisons and in the policies assign to settings overview the edit policies click on the edit policies and you can find the list of policies over here it's a, a huge number of policies related to Citrix in the console so cancel it now this is your logging database which shows you what it what all changes done by the administrator like full desktop deployment site metadata this one it's a all these things done by administrator this is providing you the timing which is the start timing what is the end timing for this in the machine catalog we can just right click here and creating a machine catalog just click on the machine catalog click on next it will ask you for the server OS desktop OS remote PC access I am going with the server OS it's asking machine catalog will use machine uh, machines that are power managed for example virtual machines or blade PC machine that are not power managed example physical machine deploy machine using MCS I am using MCS over here but other options like PBS I can use PBS or another service or technology I am selecting MCS is asking for the master image so till at I, I did not create the master image but where I want to create the master image I can create this is showing the Citrix RG where I want to create I will create but here it's not showing any master image in network watcher Citrix RG VDA1 group so for VDA1 group I can show you over here in the all resources group 
and you are quite trying to do additional details to see now it's showing a resource group and just it's not in use that's why i am deleting this resource group need to delete resource group name I'm cancelling it I first need to copy the resource group control C copying delete resource group and it enables the option to delete it. and once it will delete on the trick console it will show you only two resource groups over here just I'm clicking on back and so to check that we need to cancel it and open it again so I will show you uh, later for configuration part is it will from administrator you can create the users or administrators for Citrix Studio controller it will show you the controller name what all controllers are available here but in this environment we have only one controller so that's why it's showing the controller name here is a one only hosting which type of hosting uh, we can create uh, we have use, uh, we are using the azure hosting so the hosted updating in the azure portal licensing is the server is configured but license is not updated now the storefront is not configured now so i will uh, cover the uh, configurations and uh, creations in the next video so thanks for watching guys